Three-wheel car turns into a flying gyrocopter. Dutch company Palvi has designed a car that can fly you out of traffic jams. The Palvi Liberty can easily shift from flight mode to drive mode. The vehicle is about the size of a regular car and can carry two people. The car can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in less than 9 seconds. Its lowered suspension system allows it to tilt when going into curves. The manufacturer suggests using a runway at least 280 meters long for takeoff. The car has a maximum operating altitude of 3,500 meters. It can land on an airstrip that is significantly shorter than what it needs to take off from. If you're interested in getting behind the wheel of one of these bad boys, you'll need both a driver's license and a pilot's license. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Here's some stories about other flying cars. Airbus unveils a flying taxi. Airbus has announced its development of a flying taxi, which aims at solving traffic congestion worldwide. Airbus's electric flying vehicle is currently named the City Airbus. Test flights will be conducted in enclosed flight corridors at the National University of Singapore in mid-2017. The drones can travel to and from locations on the campus and port. Researchers plan to develop a machine vision system to allow the City Airbus to detect obstacles and function completely autonomously. Airbus says it envisions customers ordering rides in the future with their smartphones and City Airbus vehicles landing outside their front doors. Airbus is targeting this product to transport service providers such as Uber. They believe sharing the cost of a flying taxi by multiple customers could lower the price to nearly the same as a normal taxi ride. Futurists pin flying car hopes on electric VTOL vehicles. Ever since the Jetsons, we've looked forward to the promise of flying cars. But it's not just a Hollywood dream anymore. Several companies hope to bring electric VTOL vehicles to the skies. That's VTOL for vertical takeoff and landing. Imagine leaving the office after a long day's work. You get to your VTOL vehicle parked on the roof of your office. Within minutes, you're soaring above skyscrapers and busy commuter traffic. There are no traffic jams for you. A half hour later, you're at your luxury villa by the beach. Sound far-fetched? It's not if you're Google co-founder Larry Page. This is a photo of what's believed to be the first electric VTOL vehicle from Z.Aero, which Page is funding. Lilium Jet is another electric VTOL craft aimed at the masses. This S2 from Joby Aviation will get you there in style. Even ride-sharing service Uber thinks one day passengers will take VTOLs to work. Hopefully that day won't be too much longer. Remember the Jetsons envisioned flying cars more than 50 years ago. Future luxury apartments could have balconies big enough for personal flying cars. Ever wondered what life would be like when flying cars become an everyday mode of transport? Canadian engineer Charles Bombardier and Indian industrial designer Ashish Tolkar hope to one day develop luxury apartments with landing pads for personal flyers. An imagined luxury apartment aims to help make personal flying vehicles become commonplace. This new kind of residential building would see vertically aligned landing pads accommodate the vehicles. Residents would not necessarily need to own such a vehicle, but could simply order one, much like a taxi or ride-sharing service. When detecting an inbound vehicle, the balcony could prepare for landing by lowering the rail guard automatically. Air traffic control systems would be necessary to keep the city skies orderly and safe. Although the idea is still in its infancy, Bombardier and Tolkar believe it may not be long before we see apartment buildings built to code for personal flyers. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. 
Singapore test out delivery by drone. Aircraft manufacturer Airbus is set to trial a drone delivery service, which if successful, could potentially lead to tests of flying passenger taxis. A new drone delivery service to be tested in Singapore next year will see drones being used to deliver parcels. During the trial, drones will navigate a network of delivery and pickup points across the National University of Singapore campus. These drones, also known as octocopters because of their eight blades, will fly automated on routes. These routes will be flown inside interconnecting sky corridors throughout the campus. Upon arrival, the drone will unload the parcel automatically and its recipient will be sent a delivery notification. Airbus says if the drone testing is shown to be safe, it may potentially increase acceptance of passenger flight testing in Singapore. The company has been developing an electric flying vehicle named the City Airbus for several years with the aim of reducing traffic congestion in cities. Airbus believes that people will use vehicles such as these in the future and that they could be operated via transport providers such as Uber. Would you take a ride in a flying taxi? Sound out below and let us know.